Love only him can show. Because if it's not because of the love of God, I would have been gone a long time. Each time one trouble will come, God will show that he's God. But this last January, another one came. I went to work on 12th of January. So somebody at work, a welder, asked me to bring a, some parts to him. So I took that past part to him, went around to take out the hook I used to carry the part. So by the time I got the, the whole tubes uh, on one side of it, because where I put the part, it didn't fall. But the other side, yeah, the whole thing fell on my leg. But thank God that he missed my knee and my uncle, but the whole of here was smashed into pieces. He was smashed it into three places. So I was taken to hospital. I stayed there for four days. So when they took me in the ambulance, I said, the first thing I said was to pray. I said, God. Thank you. You said in every situation, give you glory. Thank you. So I thank God. I said to my, I said to this, the problem. I said, this problem, you are not going to do me anything. That God has been giving me mercy to overcome every one of them that comes to me. He's going to do the same thing on this one. So I stand the hospital four days and they, I was discharged. So when I was discharged, that's when the real battle began. It was a, a situation I never thought I would encounter, but I thank God. One thing I learned in this thing is that there's no situation that can overwhelm you when you have faith in God. This one was so much, but I say I continue saying to it, I have to overcome it, no matter what the situation is. But I thank God, I started by using worker, which was hard <laughs> to use. Then from using worker, I started using crutches, but today, what I do is now I can walk, but I always keep the crutches in my car in, ca in case I walk to a point I begin to feel pain, then I use crutches to support myself. But I thank God that I'm able to walk again. And to make it worse, the people I work, my workplace, they said I caused the accident by myself. So they started telling story. The government, I took drug, I took alcohol, but I said to God, you're going to put them to shame. And the, the blood they took from the hospital, none of them went as they, they proposed in their heart. So now what they are saying is that I caused the accident, I violated the safety rule, but I said, God, he, will, he started it by disproving them. He's going to disprove them also when I meet them in the court again. So God is going to show them that he is God, that all their lies, none of them can stand against the will of God. So I thank God because I don't have doubt. I have faith and believe in God that that day God will prove them that he's God. That's all I all my belief and so I thank God for all he has been doing to rescue me and
Elijah, Amen. the God of Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego, Amen. the God of Daniel, Amen. the God of Christ, deliverance of all nations, yes, Lord. Emmanuel, Lord. Emmanuel, I am that I am, Amen. the Alpha and the Omega, Amen. omnipotent, omnipresent God, Amen. the Holy One of Israel, shaking our glory, Amen. the Lily of Lilies. The Holy of Holies, Amen. the Ancient of Days, Amen. the Eternal Rock of Ages, Amen. the Rock of Ages Himself, yes, the King of Kings, Amen. the Lord of Lords, Amen. the Rising Sun, Amen. the Rising Star, Amen. the Morning Glory, Amen. the First and Last, Amen. the One that opens nobody can close, yes, the One that closes no one can open. The one that says yes, no one can say no. Yes, the one that says no, no one can say yes. Amen. The mighty man in battle. Amen. The brighter morning star. Amen. The almighty. Amen. The one that seated on his throne. Yes, and make it this earth is full too. The one that doesn't have a bad day. Yes, the creator of the greatest. The one that was. Amen. The one that is. Amen. The one that is to be. The ageless God, the father of the fatherless, Amen. the husband of the widow, Amen. the great cornerstone, Amen. the great porter, Amen. the great builder, Amen. the great molder, Amen. the great porter, Amen. The, the owner of our life, Amen. Jehovah Nisi, Amen. Jehovah Rapha, Amen. Jehovah Shama, Amen. Jehovah Rohi, Amen. Jehovah El Shaddai, Amen. Jehovah Mekadiski, the Lamb of God Amen. that take it away. The sins of the world, Amen. the resurrection, Amen. the life, Amen. the wonderful, Amen. the counselor, Amen. the comforter, Amen. the unchangeable changer, Amen. the word, Amen. the love, yes, the truth, the great shepherd, yes, the great healer, Amen. the great deliverer, yes, the great restorer, yes, the great provider, yes, the lion of of Judah, yes, the root of David, yes, our Messiah, Amen. better Lord and Savior, yes, our Redeemer. Amen. The immortal everlasting Father, Amen. you are the oldest, yes, Lord. you are the greatest, yes, Lord. you are the biggest, yes, Lord. you are the wisest, yes, Lord. you are the richest, yes, Lord. you are the sweetest, yes, Lord. you are the strongest. Yes, Lord. There's no one like you. No one. All powers belong to you. Yes, Lord. You are the head of all principalities. We call upon you at this hour. Amen. Come down in your power. Amen. Come down in your power. Amen. Come down in your glory. Amen. Come down in your authority. Amen. Come down in your almightiness. Amen. And I say, for worship. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus, Amen. Holy Spirit of the Living God, Amen. come and take over. take over. Holy Spirit, take over. Amen. 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 Glory of God, come down. 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 Amen. Host of angels Amen. from the throne of Almighty God, yes. come down and take over. Amen. Come down and take over. Amen. Let there be healing. Amen. Let there be healing. Amen. Spiritual healing. Amen. Physical healing. Amen. Let there be deliverance. Amen. Physical deliverance. Amen. Spiritual deliverance. Amen. Let there be restoration. Amen. Let there be restoration. Amen. Let there be breakthrough. Amen. Let there be victory. Amen. Let there be salvation. Amen. In 
the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. In the life that we are on now, no one is free or exempted from storms. Man, women, men, children, the old, the young. Even president of the countries of the world, no one is free of storms or exempted. Some children are born handicapped, handicapped. Some are born with problems. Some are born blind. Some are born deaf. Some are born without hands, arms, legs. Some are even born in families that are cursed. Some are even born with parents with drug addictions. Nobody is free. Somebody sent me a clip in the WhatsApp. And there is a certain man, the man is a millionaire. He has everything is rich. And the man said, now he's very comfortable. He has money. That he can do anything with his money. But not knowing to him, within from a couple of days, he said that. His personal physician brought him a report. And the report says that he has cancer. But he has only three months to live. The man who was bragging that had everything was bleeding on his knees. He went to the doctor and told the doctor, please doctor, save my life. Save my life. I will pay any amount of money. I will pay any amount. Name the amount I'm going to pay you. As long as my life will be saved. The doctor told him there's nothing he can do about it. This man, his money could not save his life. But one thing he did not do, he did not run to the storm quencher. He depended on his money. This will bring our topic today to be titled Crushing the Storm of Life. Crushing the storm of life. Let's go to the book of Luke, chapter 8, verse 22 to 25. Luke 8, 22 to 25. If you are there, say yes. Luke 8, 22 to 25, and I read. Now it happened on a certain day that he got into a boat with his disciples and he said to them, let us cross over to the other side of the lake and they launched out. But as they sailed, he fell asleep and a storm came down on the lake and they were filling with water and were in jeopardy. And they came to him and I woke him saying, Master, Master, we are perishing. Then he arose and rebuked the storm and the raging of the water. And they ceased and there was a calm. Then he said to them, Where is your faith? And they were all, they were afraid and marveled, saying to one another, who can this be? 
For he commands even the storm, winds and wind, winds and water, and they obey him. This is the word of the Lord. Now the question comes, what do we mean by storm of life? What do we really mean by storm of life? Storm of life means simply means the evil wind that blows no one of any good. Evil wind that blows no one of any good. That's storm of life. Storm of life ranges from sickness, infirmity, diseases, failure, disappointment, poverty, limitation, stagnation, loneliness, problem in marriages, divorce, name it, untimely death in families, and so on and so forth. That's the storm of life. Storm of life is a no respecter of person or persons. Storm of life does not respect anyone. Even when the disciples of Jesus was with Jesus in the boat, the storm quencher, the storm came. Before they cried, to the storm quencher that awake him. Master, master, awake that we are perishing. Which means the storm of life doesn't respect anyone. The so-called great man of God that God uses to do miracles, signs and wonders in these modern days, they do have their own storms of life. A certain man of God Last time the wife left him, they either they separated or they divorced. It's a storm of life. The other man of God that God uses mightily was accused of infidelity. Storm of life. The other man of God, some time ago, building collapsed in the church. Storm of life. These are great men of God that God uses. Which means storm of life is no respecter of person or persons. It can happen to anyone. Nobody's free. Now the question is, what is the origin and the causes of the storm of life? What is the origin of storm of life and the causes of storm of life? All began in the creation of man and woman. God created man. The first man and the first woman is image and is likeness. When you are created in the image of God, a likeness of God, you are like a small God. There was no storm. There was no sickness. There was no infirmity. There was no poverty. There was no limitation. There was no stagnation. They were free from storm of life. They were very comfortable. They were housed. They have their place where God kept them. They feed comfortably. Everything was within their reach. There was no storm. But God told them in this garden of Eden where they were kept. There are so many fruits to be eaten. But this particular one, do not eat from it. The day you eat, is the day you die. But they disobeyed God. They were deceived by Satan. To the serpent. They ate the tree and their eyes were opened. And they sinned. The major cause of storm of life is sin. When they sin, that was the beginning of problem in mankind. God drove them out of the Garden of Eden. And God laid the cause on them. That cause God laid on them 
That was the beginning of the storm of life in mankind. Genesis 1, 26 to 30. Genesis 3, verse 6. Genesis 3, 16 to 19. What are the types of storms? We have two types of storm in mankind. Two. One is a storm that is caused because of righteousness. The other one is a storm that is caused because of your sin. The, two dif the, the difference between these two storms is this. The storms that is caused because of your righteousness at the end of the storm you receive promotion. At the end of the storm you receive breakthrough. At the end of the storm you receive elevation. Because in the college of God there are no double promotion. Before God can promote you you must be tested. You must go through storms. If you pass, then be promoted. That's exactly what happened to Job. Job 1, 8 to 12. And he says, when the sons of God, we are presenting the same to God, and Satan was moving to and fro, And God inquired of him, why are you moving to and fro? Why, why, why did he come here? He said he was moving to and fro. God said, have you checked out my son, Job? Satan said, because he has protected him with the hedge of protection. Take away the hedge of protection. You will see, he will curse you. God said, go ahead. Take away all that he has. Satan went and afflicted Job. He took away everything Job had. Job did not say with his mouth. Job did not curse God. Satan came the second time in Job chapter 2. And God asked him again. He said he was moving to and fro. And God said, have you checked my son, Job? Says I've said, because he did not afflict his body. God said, go ahead and afflict his body, but spare his life. When the second time, afflicted Job. But one thing is sure, Job never sinned with his mouth. At the point, Job had his integrity. The wife instructed him to cut God and die. He never did that. He had his integrity. In Job 42.10, Job was promoted. Everything that he lost was doubled. The other type of storm because of sin takes on to destruction. Sorrow, death. My brethren, how are you handling a storm? There are typical examples in the scripture. People with different types of storms and how they were handled. Let's go to the book of Mark, chapter 5, verse 25 to 34. It says, A certain woman had an issue of the flow of blood for 12 agonizing years. The Bible said she suffered many things in the hand of the doctors, physicians, but to no avail. This woman got to the point of no return. She doesn't know what to do again. But she never complained. She never asked God, why? Why me? She never said, why is this happening to me? 
But on that faithful day, she heard that Jesus was passing by. And she decided within herself, if I can touch his garment, I can be made, I will be made whole. There was crowd that were following Jesus. Multitude of people following Jesus. But this crowd never, never discouraged her. Despite the crowd, she persuaded, she persistently pushed herself through the crowd until she taught the garment and instantly she was made whole. That crowd you saw physically, spiritually is forces of darkness that try to prevent her, try to discourage her from touching the garment. Sometimes you might have one problem or the other. When you try to reach to Jesus, there are powers that will try to discourage you. In the second example is this. In the book of Mark 10, 46 to 52. Mark 10, verse 46 to 52. A certain man called Blind Bethimus. This man was blind and was at the side of the road begging. When he heard that Jesus of Nazareth was passing by to Jericho, through Jericho, according to the scripture, he began to shout, to cry upon his voice, Jesus, the son of David, have mercy upon me. Jesus, the son of David, have mercy upon me. Jesus, the son of David, have mercy upon me. He was crying out. He wasn't speaking to himself. He did not say, Jesus, have mercy upon me. He was crying on top of his voice for Jesus to hear him. But people around him, they tried to shut him down. The more they shut him down, the more he cried, the more. Until Jesus had his voice because of his cry. What did he do? He threw his garment and rushed to Jesus. That garment he threw aside and rushed to Jesus means he threw away his old life. His old simple life was thrown away before he came to Jesus. Before you come to Jesus, you must throw away your old life. You must put your old life behind you. If you want to receive from Jesus, you must put your old life back. Repent of every sin you committed. Then you come to him, then you receive. The people that try to shut him down and the powers of darkness that are trying to discourage him from coming to Jesus. They try to discourage him but they couldn't discourage him. Sometime in life, there are some people you want to give your life to Christ. That's some certain power will tell you, what are you going to do? Why do you want to give your life to Christ? Don't you like the type of life you're enjoying? Don't you enjoy it? The type of life you're living? Maybe you're a smoker. The power will start to tell you, look, if you quit smoking now, all these friends around you, they no longer be your friends. Maybe you are somebody who is very promiscuous. And the power will tell you, look, if you give your life to Christ, look at all these beautiful women, you can't go to them again. This power try to discourage. This power are the power that discourages people from giving their life to Christ. They try to shut the blind Bartimaeus down, but he said no, because he knows what he wanted to do for he threw away his garment, he threw away his old life, and rushed to Jesus, and he received his sight. In First Chronicle, chapter 4, verse 9 to 10, a certain man called Jabez. I hope you know the story of Jabez. The Bible said Jabez was more honorable than his brothers. If you see him, he looks very plumpy, like a rich man, but he doesn't have anything in his pocket. The best description of Jabez, you 
can use fine painted sepulchre. If you see a sepulchre, it's painted outside, but inside is rotting. Looking at him, he looks very rich, but inside he doesn't have a dime. People come for him for hell, money through hell, but they do not know that he don't, doesn't have it. But Jabez' problem was he was born in a family that was in pain. He was born in a family that was in pain. And he inherited that pain from that daddy. And when he was born, he was named Jabez. Meaning, born in pain. And he carried that cause along until one day. Jabez said, I will never be in this pain anymore. What did he do? He never said, God, why me? God, why is this happening to me? Why is the other people comfortable? Why am I in this type of condition? He cried to the Lord. He cried to the storm quencher. And said, if you can enlarge my cause and take away this pain from me and prevent me from sin, God answered his cry. He never questioned God. In 1 Samuel chapter 1, verse 8 to 11, a certain woman called Hannah. Hannah was barren. She had no child. But her mate made life very miserable and agonizing for her. The Bible said she was grieved in the heart. Bitterness of the soul and weeping all night. Nothing interests her. But one fateful day, they went to Shiloh. As others were going home, Hannah stayed back. What did she do? She cried to the Lord. She did not only pray. She cried to the Lord. If you can take away the affliction of a maid servant, Hannah went to extra mile and made a vow. And God did what God answered her prayer. Finally, in 2 Kings chapter 4, verse 16 to 28. A certain woman is called the Shunammite woman. This woman, we are very comfortable, but they have no child. But because of her good deeds to a man of God, and God blessed her through that man of God, Prophet Elisha. On one fateful day, the child died. She did not cry. She did not lament. She did not ask God question. Why me? She laid the child on the bed of Prophet Elisha. She never told her husband. The husband asked her, Why are you seeking for Elijah? She went to see for Elijah. Elisha. Why are you seeking for Elisha? And she said, It is well. On getting to Elisha, Elijah sighted her, sent Gehazi, the servant. Go after her. Is there any problem? Ask her if she had a problem. Gehazi went to her and inquired. She told Gehazi, it is well. And she got to Elisha. And she heard the foot of Elisha and cried out her pain. Because she believed, if I can see Elisha, my child will rise again. Because Elisha is the representation of God. If I can see Elisha, my child will rise again. My child will rise again. She was not bothered about what people were asking her. She never questioned God. She never complained. She never murmured until she got Elisha. My brethren, the question comes now. 
what is your storm of life? What is your storm of life? Sickness? Infirmity? Diseases? Poverty? Lack of good job? Financial crisis? Barrenness? Loneliness? Marital problems? Divorce? Untimely death in families? Disappointment? Failure? Addiction? What is your storm of life? I pray for you. Whatever storm of life you are in, be delivered now in the name of Jesus. Amen. Be delivered in the name of Jesus. Amen. Be delivered in the name of Jesus. Amen. Be delivered in the name of Jesus. Be delivered in the name of Jesus. Whatever storm you are in now, in the name of Jesus, Christ of Nazareth, I say be delivered. 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 In the name of Jesus. How are you handling the storm you are in? Are you murmuring? Are you complaining? Are you asking God questions? Why me? Are you saying some negative words because of your storm? Are you feeling that you are at the end of the road? Are you walking from place to place seeking for solution and overlook the storm quencher? Brethren, I come to let you know the way you handle your storm determines how big and how far you come out from the storm. The way you handle your storm determines how quick, how far you come out from that storm. In the book of Numbers, chapter 13 and 14, it's about the children of Israel. Moses sent 12 people to go and spy the promised land, the land of Canaanites. They came back gave a negative report. Two gave a positive report. The ten that gave a negative report and said really the land they went to pass by they saw giants. They are like rats before them. The sons of Anak are in that land. That the land is a land that divorced its inhabitants. While Joshua and Caleb gave a positive report. Because of the negative report the 10 people gave, the anger of God was upon the children of Israel. God, God rejected them. God extended their stay in the wilderness for another 40 years. And God brought death upon them. The ten people that gave the negative report were dead. The God killed them of plagues. From 20 years and above, stayed another 40 years in the wilderness. Only Joshua and Caleb got to the promised land. Which means the more you complain in your storm, the more you say some negative things in your storm. The more you ask God questions in your storm, I, that will bring rejection. Making you to stay longer in the storm or can bring death. Now the question lies, how can you come out from this storm of life? How can this storm of life be, be crushed? The first step to crush the storm of life is this. Completely surrender your life to Christ. Because you cannot receive from him without putting back your old life. You cannot receive from him without dropping your old life. You must put back your old life and come to him and surrender your life 
life to him completely because he's a strong creature. Then you repent of every known and unknown sin. Both the ones who remember, the ones who don't remember, repent of every known and unknown sin. Because the Bible says in 2 Chronicle chapter 7 verse 14, it says, if my people who are called by my name can humble themselves and repent of their sins and turn away from the wicked ways and call upon me, I will hearken unto their voice from heaven. I will forgive their sins and I will heal their land. In First John 3 8, he said, For this reason, the Son of God was manifested. For him had destroyed the work of Satan. The main reason Jesus came is to destroy the work of Satan, which is stop. Then after that, finally, what do you do? You cry to the Lord. Those that has stopped, they cry to the Lord. In Psalm 107, verse 28 to 29, Psalm 107, verse 28 to 29, it says, Then they cry out to the Lord in their trouble. And he brings them out of their distresses. And he calms the storm so that these waves are still. In Genesis chapter 32, verse 26 to 30. Genesis 32, to verse 26 to 30. This is about Jacob. We know the story of Jacob. How he cried, he wrestled with the angel till the following morning. The angel said, Leave, let me go. He said, I will not let you go unless you bless me. I will let, let you go unless you bless me. And the angel is located in his joint. And he said, What is your name? My name is Jacob. He said, From today, you are no longer Jacob but Israel. Some Bible scholars say that wrestling he did was not physical. Some say it is not physical. Some say it is physical. But though that said it's not physical means he prayed throughout the night. He prayed. He prayed. He prayed. He persistently prayed until in the realm of the spirit he had victory over wrestling with the angel. While well, some said it was a physical wrestling with the angel. Whatever it is, but persistent in prayer. How are you handling your storm? Are you persistently praying? Or are you tired of praying? In Exodus chapter 2, verse 23 to 24. Exodus 2, 23 to 24. This is the story of the children of Israel in Egypt. When they were going through afflictions, and the Bible says, they cried to the Lord. They cried to the Lord. And the Lord, God, had their groaning and came to their rescue. So no matter the storm we are going through, today we cry to the Lord. And he will deliver us from all the storm in the mighty name of Jesus. He will deliver us in the mighty name of Jesus. No matter the storm you are in, what I know is today you must be delivered in the mighty name of Jesus. May we stand on our feet. I want you to go before the Lord 
Ask him for forgiveness. For every sin you have committed that brought a storm into your life. Both the ones committed consciously and unconsciously. No, 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 no. But the ones remembered, the ones you don't remember, cry to him, tell him to forgive you. You repent of every sin. Open your mouth, ask for forgiveness from the heart of your heart. Open your heart to him because he will deliver you from your storms today. The Bible said a closed mouth is a closed destiny. You have to pray, cry unto the Lord to bring you out of your storm. And the Bible said again, right from the time of John the Baptist, the kingdom of God suffered violence and violence collected by force. If you don't want to be the same storm, you cry to the Lord. Shout to him to take you out of the storm. What type of storm are you in? This sickness? Is it poverty? Lack of good job? Barrenness? Addiction? Divorce? Disappointment? Failure? Loneliness? Financial problem. What else? No matter the storm, you'll be delivered today. In Jesus' name we pray. I want you to open your mouth and shout three times. Jesus! 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 I stand by your name. I stand by your name. I break. I break. I break. I break. Every butt. Every butt. Of storm. Of storm. In my life. In my life. To pieces. To pieces. Jesus. 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 I stand by your name. I stand by your name. I break. I break. Every butt. Every butt. Of storm. Of storm. In my life. In my life. To pieces. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Break it now. I said break it. Break the pot of storm in your life. I said break it. 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 Break the pot of storms in your life. I said break it. Open your mouth and 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 break it. I command the pot of storm. You are allowed to break. I said 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 break. Open your mouth and pray. Break the pot of storms. Break the pot of storms. I said break them now. Break the pot of storms in your life. I said break them. I said break it. I said break it. I said break it. Break the break it. Pot of storm of sickness. I said break it. Pot of storm of diseases. I said break it. Pot of storm of infirmity. I said break it. Both of storm of sickness, I said break it. Both of of poverty, I said break it. Both of some barrenness, I said break it. Both of disappointment, I said break it. Loneliness, I said break it. I said break it. Open your mouth and pray. Financial problem, I said break it. Break it now, I said break it now. In the name of Jesus, I said break it. I said break it. I said break it. I said break it. Break the pot of storm, I said break it. Break the pot of storm, I said break it. They will break today. I said, break it. Both of some of your life. I said, be broken now. I said, be broken. 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 Oh, we are about to pray. Continue praying. Break it now. The pot of stones in your life. Break them now. 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 Is this sickness? I said, break it. 
Under me death, as a bracket, infirmities, as a bracket, poverty, as a bracket, loneliness, as a bracket, barrenness, as a bracket, heavy be, as a bracket, as a bracket, break it, continue to pray, financial problem, as a bracket, break it up a storm. Open your mouth and pray, continue to break it. Break, 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 break. I command them to break in the name of Jesus. I command them to break. I command them to break. Break, 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 financial problem, break, 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 loneliness, break, 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 break. Break in the name of Jesus. Break in the name of Jesus. Break the pot now. Break the pot now. Break the pot now. Of timely death. Break the pot now. In your family. Break the pot now. I said break it. 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 Break them now. 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 In the name of Jesus. Continue to pray. Continue to pray. Break the pot of storms in your life. Break the pot of storms in your life. In the name of Jesus, they must be broken. I command it to be break now. I say break, 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 break. Break in the name of Jesus. 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 Hey, Jesus, now we pray. You demons, you are clean spirit. I call you by your name. Responsible for the storms in my life. I command you out of my life. Command them out. Out of your life. Out of your life. Out of your life. Out of your life. Command them out of your life. Responsible for the storms in your life. Command them out. Command them out. They must leave you. They must leave you. They must leave you. They must leave you. In the name of Jesus, they must leave you. They have no choice. They must leave you. 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 You demons. You are clean spirit. Responsible for the part of for stop your life. I call it by your name. In the name of Jesus. I command you out. 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 Out, 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 out. Begin to command them out of your life. In the name of Jesus. Command the powers. Command the demons. Command the spirits. Ugly spirits. Responsible for the part of life. For the storm in your life. I shall be broken. I shall be broken. I shall be broken. I shall be broken. Part of sickness. Part of infirmity. Part of disease. Part of virus. I shall be broken. In the name of Jesus. Be broken in the name of Jesus. Be broken in the name of Jesus. I shall be broken. 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 Every part of storm in your life. I shall be broken. In the name of Jesus. I shall be broken. 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 Part of storm of sickness. I shall be broken. Part of storm of infirmity. Come on.
the little man. Every part of storm in your life. In the name of Jesus, never Nazareth. I want to be broken in the name of Jesus. Be broken in the name of Jesus. I say be broken. 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 From the top of your head to the side of your feet, I command blood of stop to broken in the name of Jesus. Be broken now in the name of Jesus. You demons, you are clean spirit, responsible for every part of stop in your life. In the name of Jesus, I will come out, come out of him. In the name of Jesus, come out of him, 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 come out of him. In the name of Jesus, they must obey. They have no choice. Father, I pray. Every part of stop in the life of your children. Today, they must obey. They have no choice. I want to out in the name of Jesus. Amen. Come out in the name of Jesus. Amen. From the hiding places. They can hide. They can run. They cannot hide. They can run. They cannot hide. From the anointing of Jesus. They must come out in the name of Jesus. Today, you are free. You are delivered. 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 From every storm. In the name of Jesus. Jesus has delivered you. Jesus has delivered you.